Welcome to the fifth part of the presentation series, Introduction to Sampling for Mineral Processing. In this video, we will look at process control samplers, which will include launder, pressure, and poppet type samplers, and analyzers such as XRF or particle size systems. These are the properties of process control samplers. They are normally for concentrate and tailings of each stage of the flotation process. They require sampling to verify tendencies in the process. They are important for maximizing metal recoveries. They are used to supply a sample to an on-stream x-ray analyzer or a particle size analyzer. And are required to produce 8 to 12 cubic meters per hour of continuous sample. It should be stressed that process control samplers do not respect the golden rule for sampling and therefore are not probabilistic. For process control samplers, the slurry should be properly mixed or homogeneous before getting to the cutter or nozzle. The velocity of the slurry going through the cutter or nozzle should be the same as the velocity of the main slurry. However, there is no guarantee that this is really the case because of changes in the process and piping. This is an example of a launder sampler, which is a top mounted cutter or TMC. These are used for slurry applications. They are designed for process lines which are not under pressure. The TMC has a cutter which is placed in the middle of the slurry flow in order to extract a portion of the material. The extracted sample then goes through the exit nozzle. The main process flow exits the main part of the sampler. This is an example of a TMC sampler with a diverter. The diverter has two discharge pipes. One is for the reject and the other supplies a sample to an on-stream analyzer. The slurry level in the analyzer outlet section of the diverter can be controlled so that a constant flow of slurry can be maintained to the analyzer. Here is another example of a TMC sampler, only this one is for a larger process line. The arrow shows the direction of the process flow. This is another version of a launder sampler, which is a TMCF. In this case, there is a flume, which is used to mix the slurry before the cutter for better sample representativity. This is an example of a pressure sampler with mixing bars, which is called a PPV. These are used for slurry applications. They are designed for vertical process lines which are under pressure. The mixing bars are optional and are used to mix the slurry for better sample representativity. The PPV has a nozzle which is placed in the middle of the slurry flow in order to extract a portion of the material. The extracted sample then goes through a sample exit nozzle and the process flow exits the main body of the sampler at an angle. It should be stressed that for this system to provide a sample, the maximum height of the sample piping must be less than the maximum height of the process piping. This is a version of the PPV without mixing rods. This version of the pressure sampler is designed for horizontal installations. The process inlet and outlet are on the same plane, whereas the sample goes off at an angle. Here is an installation example of a horizontal pressure pipe sampler with mixing bars. This is a poppet type sampler. There is a slotted tube which is driven into the slurry flow via a fast-acting actuator and a portion of the process stream is then extracted. These are typical sampling points in and around the concentrator which are used to supply an on-stream analyzer with sample. The feed, concentrate and reject streams should use metallurgical samplers and the other streams can use process control samplers. Here is how a sampling system may be used for process control using an on-stream analyzer. The samplers which are situated around the plant provide a continuous or on-demand flow of slurry to the multiplexers. The samplers can be either metallurgical or process control types. The main sample flow rejects are returned back to the process. When the analyzer is ready, the process sample is directed through a flow cell for measurement and the analyzer system then outputs the results to the plant control system. Here you can see two multiplexers. In this case there are a total of six process lines connected. A few spares are also available for use. This is an example of an on-stream analyzer system. The flow cell is where the measurement takes place and in this case it uses the x-ray fluorescence principle. 
The sample flow from a sampling system can also be directed to other types of analyzers. In this case, we show a particle size instrument. This completes the process control samplers section of the introduction to sampling presentations. We here at Heath and Sherwood hope you found this useful and informative and please watch the rest of the series. If you require more information, you can contact us directly.